A new LF5 radiation detector has been unveiled by Shanghai Lishida. It is said to be able to support nine kinds of UV probes according to different ultraviolet spectrum, measuring range, test hole diameter and application industry. This will allow for greater flexibility, flexibility, and precision when it comes to detecting radiation levels. The LS125 has a wide detection range from 200 nanometers to 400 nanometers, making it perfect for testing a variety of different UV wavelengths. Additionally, its small test hole diameter of just 2 millimeters means that it can be used in even the most delicate applications, and with its rugged and waterproof design. The LS125 is perfect for use in harsh environments. So far, the LS125 has been met with positive feedback from customers in a number of industries, including LED packaging, semiconductor manufacturing and medical device manufacturing. When selecting a radiation detector or light meter, you should consider the spectral range, measuring range and test hole size of the probe. The spectral range is the wavelength of light that the detector can measure. The measuring range is the distance from the detector to the object being measured. The test hole size is the diameter of the opening in the probe that collects light. The spectral ranges for radiation detectors and light meters vary from ultraviolet radiation to infrared radiation. The measuring ranges also vary, depending on the type of detector. Some detectors can measure distances up to 100 feet, while others can only measure distances up to 10 feet. The test hole size also varies. Depending on the type of detector, some detectors have a small test hole, while others have a large test hole. The radiation detector can simultaneously display statistical functions, real, time value, maximum value, minimum value, average value, time and energy values. The user-friendly interface allows the operator to quickly identify any problems. Additionally, the radiation detector has a variety of power options that make it adaptable for different work environments. It uses a semiconductor as the sensing element to detect ionizing radiation. It has high precision and good anti-jamming ability. The traditional silicon detectors are mainly used in gamma spectrometry and nuclear radiation detection. With the development of new materials and technologies, the application range of solid-state radiation detectors is gradually expanding. At present, it has been widely used in medical diagnosis, environmental monitoring, food security, industrial inspection and other fields. The principle of solid-state radiation detectors is to convert the energy of ionizing radiation into an electric signal. The electric signal is proportional to the energy of ionizing radiation. The higher the energy of ionizing radiation, the larger the electric signal. And finally, we have a gift for you that is, tricks to reduce your electricity bill by at least 75%. And the way to complete energy independence, get rid of the monopoly of big energy, you will never have to pay for electricity. electricity. Method, amplify electricity to make output power greater than input power. See link in description. Thanks for watching.